Well, I could be willing to bet that you have figured out that it's uh, raining again. We're going on day five or six, this on for an hour, off for an hour, on for an hour, etc. And uh, it is Monday morning. Well, it's just after lunch right now. But the whole weekend, basically out of commission, we had lost power in my neck of the woods several times, on for an hour, off for two, on for one, off for two. Well, I had to get in my car and go for a ride. I had to go a mile down the street where they, everything was fine, you know. Apparently some trees got, dead trees had fallen. There wasn't like a big storm, it just rained a lot. Soggy soil, I'm not sure. Anyway, broke some power lines. Uh, there were some telephone pole fires on and off. Didn't affect everybody, but of course it was my area. I have the worst luck with utilities, you know, water, electricity. And uh, I got to get out. At the very least, I might be able to get some rain jackets out and, you know, help people, you know, get along in the day. Because there doesn't seem to be any uh, end in sight. But there is some good news. If you remember Malik, uh, I don't know late 20s early 30s black guy I met at the Dollar General he was basically fresh out of jail for uh, for some things and uh, from Texas and uh, ended up giving him a Bible and you know a few items and whatnot but he contacted me through the email and since then another business owner in Texas where he's from has reached out to me also his name is Steven he's the president and chief operating officer of a a five-star pretty much award-winning company and uh, I don't want to say much more on the fact because I don't know if he wants that information to be released but anyway he wants to help Malik and I contacted Malik he had he got a phone he sent me his phone number and we're gonna meet up here and uh, my friend Steven here in Texas wants to help him, and I'm not sure what that's going to involve. So I'm going to have to ask Malik to see what's going on, and maybe we can make some kind of a three-way connection of some sort in order to help the guy out. He's a fish out of water here, you know, but I believe his, his ex-girlfriend and his child are here. And that's pretty much why he got in trouble in the first place, trying to help her pay the rent. Well, you know, I guess he's trying to assume responsibility, although may it be perhaps in the wrong way. You know, something to be said for that at least. But right now it's light rain, which just stopped. It's been pouring. What a mess. All right, we're going to get back. I'm going to find uh, Malik here, hopefully, and, well, anybody else, see what I can do. All right, let's get to it. All right, guys, we're at the Stay Lodge where my friend Malik's hanging out. A friend of mine, Steven, wants to help him out. We're going to see how that goes. How you doing, man? No, I just uh, I wanted to make sure because it, it said Willowdale Lodge, but I know this is the Stay Lodge. Mm -hmm. so, you want a water, man? Hell yeah, man. I got a, uh, some flavor packs. A strawberry, black cherry, grape. I'll take this one over. All right. Sit down over here. Sure. Yeah. Get out of the rain. Well, it stopped now, but we know that's just a couple minutes. This one I'm doing art. Yeah. The question is, how are you doing, man? Doing pretty good. Yeah, I got your email. Obviously, you know, you gave me your phone number. Mm -hmm. You got that new text now. Yeah. But one of your fellow Texan friends reached out to me through email. And we talked for about an hour and a half until my phone died. Mm -hmm. And he wants to help you get back to Texas. He doesn't want Do to... I know who he is? I doubt it. This is just a guy. Uh, he's a president and CEO of a, of a pretty reputable company. His name is Steven. I can't give any information more than that until I talk to him again. Mm -hmm. But, uh, no, very professional guy. And I know you said you wanted to get back to Texas. 
Now, what is that what you want to do? I believe so. Um, how things been going lately, I was just like, it's this guy named Casey Carpenter. Casey, I know Casey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, uh, yeah we spoke. Um, he owns a restaurant. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've been trying to get in contact with him. Um, I know he has rent to own homes and stuff, so I was hoping I can possibly just do a rent to own for like maybe like a year or so. Yeah. And just like, just like get my mind back and you know, you know like. Okay, you know, so you're, correct me if I'm wrong, but your girlfriend lives here with your child, right? Um, my child's not, not my girlfriend. Well, yeah. ex-girlfriend, yeah. baby mama, however you want to phrase it, you know, the mother of your child, and you were trying to help her pay her rent, and that's how you got in trouble. Right. All right. Yeah, I remember that. All right. Well, how's, I know you're on probation and stuff, and you were worried about getting in trouble and not finding a job, and how's the job search going? Um, I'm still waiting on my, um, my ID to get sent to... Um, Greater Works? No, it's not going to Greater Works. It's going to my old address in Calhoun. Okay. So I've called the apartment manager and I've had a few people call and try and check up on it to see if it's okay. If, it's, if it got there, and I call like every other day and it's not there yet. So. All right. How long has it been? I got that a few days after I've seen you, so it's been a while. It's right been now. a couple months. It, it's no. it's not. If it hasn't got there, they say up to I think what up to sixty days. But, I think it said 30 days. But yeah. It could be around right it. It could be around right that. Well, I guess I wouldn't be putting much faith. Did you get a paper one? Yes. Okay. But I need the actual. Now that one's good for 60 days. Yeah. I need the actual, like. Plastic. Yeah. Yeah. No, I got gotcha. you. I totally know how and it works around here. I need my birth certificate and everything, and then I can start, you know. Okay. You know, getting the job thing going on. How is probation treating you all right? <laughs> Loaded question. Yeah, you know, it's probation, I guess. Sure, sure. But I mean, are you keeping up? Are, are you oh, being, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely, okay, definitely. they've been threatening you with jail time or anything? Kind of, sort of. I think now he just he just wants to see me do right. I was taking it. Natalie. Uh, offensive. No, um, I have uh, I have Officer Davis. Oh. Uh. All right. Enough said of there. Uh. Yeah. I I get to know people. I'm not them per personally but yeah. anyways yeah. beside the point um so how long do you think this will take for you to you know what what do you need to do to finish probation get off probation um well probation my probation is going to last five years but um for me to get everything taken care of i just need to just pay them the bonds and then after i pay them the bonds um do my community service and then um I'll be, I won't be off, but I'll be on call, so I won't have to keep going up there and keep going up there. And keep sure, going up there. yeah, call and report. So you're on felony probation? Yes. Okay, so through the state. Sure. Okay, this isn't city probation for, uh, you know, something silly. I got I got you, okay. It's felony probation because, you know, I broke, I broke into the little trailer thing or sure. a fireworks stand, whatever you want to call yeah. it. Yeah, and if it's more than $100 worth of stuff, I think it's considered a felony at that point. I got gotcha. you. And you had slept over at the Greater Works, or not Greater Works, Providence. but Providence, and they said, well, hey, we can't help you here anymore. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. that's cool. I mean, you know, it's the, no, I got it. You know, saying. they got to do what they got to do as well. Yeah. All right, so your, your goals then basically are to basically get obviously get your ID back so you can get working right. get your get your probation taken care of yeah and uh, jobs I, I plan on paying all that off not at one time but it would be nice to pay it off at one time but with, with a good amount you know of the job you know I can pay that off like you can get some good chunks of it paid off mm -hmm. what is your total fines and costs if you don't mind me asking did they give you a to, yeah it's upstairs um it's like I'm gonna grab the paper all right, but uh, now that's from the courthouse. Yeah, this is the okay. There's your ID. Uh, when does it say it expires? Um, sure. let me put my glasses on. This was the, the credentials. It wasn't really supposed. I don't want to get them in trouble. They weren't really supposed to give it to me because you know their rules. But I told her that I really needed it, and I talked to her. I talked to her into helping me out, and she did that. But she went against the policy to do that for me. And oh, because you're not in this county. It was something like that. I'm not sure. Yeah. To be honest. 
But Mr. Jim, who works at Greater Works, he lives he lives over here downstairs. He's this was just uh, issued to you ten days ago. Yeah. Well, this is good for another month and a half. Every time you go, see, in Georgia here, they give you the paper one. You're probably not used to that. You know, well, maybe you're. Um, I think I've had, a, I've had a paper copy one time, but that's, you know, when I at first got my ID again and I went to, you know, my address a couple years back. Okay. But it's valid until 2028. Right, once you get the plastic one. Mm -hmm. But the paper one's only good, I think, for 60 days. Yeah. But I, I normally it would say expires on such and such, and I'm not seeing, oh, wait, wait, wait. This temporary ID good for 120 days in bold letters. Okay. Yeah, well that's good news. Here it is. So in total, I got $3,134.57 plus the $250 fine. Okay, and, but, and you've been paying off a little bit of that, but I'm sure that- no, I'll have to pay off until, um, until next month. And but you gotta pay yeah, monthly as to, you know, to get that number down. He said it right here is the the he conditions said, he of said, your. He said I can do payments like that, but that's just that's you know I'm trying to. I that's the probation fee. Yeah. Yeah, that's not that that's not ten cents going towards your fine. Yeah. But yeah. I asked him like, is there a chance that I can like pay like all at once? And they said yeah. So I'm trying to pay it within like two payments, you know, because I'm not trying right. to keep going back and forth. I'm well, how are you gonna gather up that kind of whenever I get loot this, in two I payments? My, um, Q sales they uh they pay pretty good. Yeah. And. But you need your ID to get the job there. Yeah. That's they won't accept that, the paper? Because that's legal. That's legal. The cops can investigate. They yeah. can come right I there. Need, I need this, but I also need birth certificate, and I need my social. Okay. So this I can get you your social. We can go down there. It's free. Yeah. And you give them that, and they'll get your social security card mailed out. And then you can show proof that you applied for it. Right. But. That stays uh, over there. He works at Greater Works. He was going to take me the other day he's just been busy you know helping me he helps people out just like how you okay do. so he's always he's always helping people so about andrew jim Ch okay i was thinking of a guy that drives a the green truck is it like a box looking thing like a small suv bearded dude i know who drives that car i'm not, I'm not sure i think his name's andrew okay. i had met him for the first time the other day he knew me i think by my car and i got my dash cam on you know on my on my dash but uh, um, there was well, this guy wanted to get in contact with you to see how he could help. Okay. And I'm not sure. Would it be okay if I was to call him and give him your phone number? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For him to call you. Yeah. His awesome. name's Stephen, and that way you guys can exchange information. And him and I have already been in contact. Do you have um rent to own like house? Like, I don't have anything like that. But there's yeah, about Stephen. And, but like, like he's a now that's his business. He he. Is the president and COO, chief operating officer, I believe that is, in Dallas. Okay. And, uh, well, North Texas, I guess that's Dallas, Fort Worth. I think he had Dallas address. I went to his website for his company. And he kind of specializes in low income housing. And that would be kind of right up your alley, but that's getting back home. Right. You know, that's going home. How far from Texas is your roots? Where's your family at? Uh, from Dallas. I say like, really, I mean, my mom, she lives in Plano. My dad lives in the suburbs of Plano, which is Frisco. Okay. Texas, but um, it's really just, it's really just me out there. My sister, she's about to be coming out here, moving out here within the next few days. She was supposed to move out here last week. Really? But she's been trying to save up. Well, what is she going to do for work? I mean, um, I don't know. I've really been trying to, like, call her and stuff like that. But she's just kind of been busy and stuff. Yeah. Brother, he still lives out there um, in Dallas. So it's really just, like, family, family-wise. I have my, my younger brother. Um, that's really about it. But we all just doing our own thing, you know. Sure. I'm trying to see him and talk to him when I can and stuff. But we're all just just doing our own thing. It's kind of hard. Kind of surviving. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. That's all you can do. That's why my sister she's coming out here because she has family and, and stuff in like Atlanta area that can help her out. I guess. So. Well. When Stephen emailed me, okay, this was about a week before I saw you the last time, mm -hmm. just for that 
couple minutes over at Greater Works right. last week or so, whatever it was, uh, he had told me the title of his email said, what can I do to help? And him and I talked and he's a, he's a smart cookie. You know, he's a smart dude. So he's going to know much more perhaps, you know. What kind of business you said he has again? Uh, real estate. Real estate business? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's a five-star company from what I've gathered just by doing a generic search. But okay, you say he's the he say he's the he's a police chief. No, he's the president and CEO of the company. Oh, okay, okay. He oh, yeah. he's like the. That's like right up. That's like right up my alley. I was. Trying, uh, that's why. That's why I've been trying to. I can show you my. He's the MFOC. I've been. I've been. MFIC. Him. I've been contacting. Uh. My phone's got wet. It's like the humidity and stuff. Sure. Yeah, it's it's pretty nasty. I've Today's been my text messages though, but I've been calling Casey. Um, Carpenter. To, yeah, yeah. I've been I've been well, not like actual like him. But Is he on the uh, city council now? I'm I'm not sure. He was running for city council a few years back, and I never know if you know. I heard that by somebody I was in jail with that he yeah. was in the. Like a he would board. be a district rep or something to that effect. Something like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, one of those political I'm not like the terms, and like the words. Yeah, no, I, I got you. I got you. I, I I'm not really a political guy because it's to me it's kind of a mess either way. Whose yeah. bike is this? I'm not sure. It's pretty much so. All right. <laughs> the reason I ask is it's got a flat tire and I got an air pump. If if there's one guy who, who comes and rides it around, I'm not I'm not I'm not sure though. Okay. Exactly. Well, yeah, that's right up my alley. You said he's he's he does real estate. I actually plan on doing real estate. Um, well, maybe perhaps you know he might have some entry level employment opportunities for you. I don't know. We haven't got to the discussion of the exact of what you need because okay. him and I we got sidetracked real quick about you know just a lot of things and uh, but we never really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we were talking forever. Yeah. My phone was hot in my ear. You know, it gets hot oh, yeah, when yeah, you talk yeah, a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it, it just shut off. The battery died. Water? Yeah, it's right here. Yeah. Um, but uh, you hungry, man? You want to lunch? I got some food. Mm -hmm. Kind of like before. You still got that Bible? I want to take a little bit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. That backpack looks pretty uh, good condition. Yeah. You, yeah. you oh, taking care of it? Trying to. I've been walking around. You know, a guy told me, before. he told me the same thing. It's starting to, you know, his started to rip yeah. like that. But when I, like, first, like, seen you, like, I had stuffed my bag with all that stuff. Oh, it was packed? It was already, yeah, it was already making little rips. I'm like, uh-oh. Uh -oh. It's not going to be good. But, you know, I'm making a do it. I'll tell you what you could do. If one breaks loose, tie this around the other one. Mm -hmm. I've done that you know before. what I mean? Yeah. I guess. Like little, yeah, like, like a cross body. Uh -huh. Yeah, there you yeah, go. I've been there before with that. All right. Um, yeah, give him my phone number and um, tell him to give me a call, a text, cause I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to make some things happen. Yeah, I'm trying to make some things happen. I'll tell you like what, I will do that. And here's here's what I want to, uh, I'll I will call him. I will call him this evening. Um, I, I'm sure you know being a president and a COO of a company is a pretty big responsibility. Yeah. And I'm to tell you the truth, I when he gave me his phone number on the email and I talked to him, mm -hmm. I called him pretty much immediately. This was a little bit ago. Anyway, he uh, I don't know his schedule, you know, so I don't want to interrupt him at work because right. he's got a lot of responsibility. So I'm going to try him this evening. Okay. And uh, now that I have your number. And I'll give him yours. Well, and then I'll give you his, and maybe you can call him when you can. Because if he tries calling, like I had a hard time getting a hold of you because of the Wi-Fi thing. Yeah, that's why I was saying, like, if you do give him my phone, if you do give him my, uh, my phone number, so I'm like trying to be patient because the Wi-Fi like it cuts out and sure, and stuff like that. This yeah. is bad. It's not really good. It's they haven't. Always, they like, haven't here. changed it, it doesn't, here. It doesn't, right. it doesn't work in the back. I have to be literally like right here, right here, or. In the front, find your own hot spot. Yeah, and I try not to just like stand in the front. Just yeah, look like a fool. Yeah, I got you. I got you, brother. But yeah, man, it's awesome. It's so real estate. Um, I wish I had. But you, like, you were saying that you got family coming here, and yeah, you know, uh, I want to. If I can get my sister to like pick up the phone and stuff i would tell her, <laughs> get her to answer the phone yeah it's just it's 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 hard it's just always like how like my family's been like we just all just doing our like individual things, things. Like, yeah. we, we try to 
do what we can together, but we're really like, I'm not gonna say that like we're like separated, but I'm, I'm more separated than- You're not super more. close and you have the uh, barbecues on weekends and that type of thing. Yeah, yeah not even that, but yeah. It's you know what I mean? It sounds nice the whole Yeah, thing. yeah, it's great, but, yeah. Um, once I can get my feet planted, then I can, you know, try and reach out and grab them both by the neck and be like, hey, look, you know, I might know a guy that can possibly help you out too, and you know, and so forth and so forth. All right, let me ask you this. If you had to make a one second decision right here and now, would you rather be here or Texas? Would I rather be here or Texas? If, put aside all the legal stuff, because you have to be here. You know, you have to be able to come in and maybe do a drug test, that type of stuff, yeah. whatever your probation asks for, you know. But if that was eliminated, well, what would be your next move? Would you want to go back to Texas? Um, of course, I would want to go back to Texas, yes. Um, yeah. Okay. Well. All right. Well, I'm going to give him a call and just let him know, and you guys can talk to each other, and maybe uh, maybe he can work something out. You know, I don't know. Being a president and CEO of a five-star company yeah. has, you know, got some, got some weight behind it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he's not a, you know, I, I went and looked. I saw the Facebook page. I saw his website, you know, his company. <laughs> it's a big deal. Yeah. They invest in uh, low-income housing and all kinds of real estate. Okay. And I believe they're based in Dallas. Okay. His name is Steven. Steven. Yeah. It's funny. I'm not sure if I know who he is, but I might, I might, like, if I see him, I might be like, oh, okay, I might, I might. I didn't necessarily, guy. there were some, some pictures on the mm -hmm. website, but I don't really know if that was him or not. Is he a Hispanic guy? No, well, he talked totally Caucasian, like white. There was no okay. accent of any okay. kind. Because yeah. I, I work, I work for, I work for a few, um, I work for a few people doing like, um, not real estate, but like contracting work and stuff. Yeah. Like I'm kind of, I'm not the best, but I know how to do like cement work. And, sure. And, and putting beams in and taking floors out. And like a and uh, general handyman. Yeah. Yeah. You know, drywall, Pretty that type good. of stuff. Mm -hmm. Plumbing, you know, easy, you know, routine stuff. I like I don't, I don't yeah. fuck with that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not the plumbing guy. Nah. Yeah, I, sorry. I, 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 I Your toilet's backed up. Call a call Roto Rooter. Yeah. I ain't doing it. So, well, all right. Yeah, for the most part, I, I believe uh, I want to go back. Okay. Well, I'll talk to him hopefully tonight. You know, I'm not sure of his schedule, but they're on Central Time, so they're an hour behind us. Okay. You know, oh, yeah, well, you know, yeah. And uh, I'll see what's happening, and I will exchange numbers, and I'm gonna ask him if it's okay. You can give him my Gmail too. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's on my email. Mm -hmm. I could pass out along for okay. sure. Yeah. Because it seemed like you were able to answer your emails better than your phone. Yeah. You know, it's just the. I know. It's it it's strange. Sense. Well, at least it's there and you can read the whole thing instead mm -hmm. of breaking up. I've been waiting on it too. Like when, yeah. like when I finally got my phone, I'm like I got found there. I got there. <laughs> yeah. There, yeah. I got yeah. found there. I was. Yeah. I was. Oh yeah, yeah, man. I appreciate you for a lot. Well, hey. Um, I'm just trying to respond, you know, trying to help you out, you know, human to human, you know, that's what I'm doing. And he reached out to me, so I, I'm obligated, you know, not just from the sense of being a nice guy or whatever, but it's just my moral responsibility, you know. And if you need to get back home, I think he might be able to help you out in that regard. And I, But I, I, I'm not making any promises of any kind. I can't, you know what I mean? I can't say one way or the other what he'd be willing to do. But uh, I guess we can see. And I see you got a birthday here in August. You're going to be 28. Yeah, it's coming up August 9th. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah. I read the crystal ball. Uh, it's in my yeah. car. It's, it's. Uh, no, it's on your ID. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That too, that too. That yeah. too. But it's, you know, it's. Well, that's that's legit paperwork, man. That's that's the real deal. The, the cops will scan that barcode, or anybody can scan that barcode, and that's just like the same one you'll have on the back of your plastic license once you get it. Yeah, I know that. I was talking about the birthday part. It's like uh, yeah, it's eight like, nine. Yeah, fucked uh, up though. So it's like uh, you know. What's wrong with that? It's just a it's, another day. True. It's just it's just another day, but I think it's like two weeks, man. You know, they want to be. It's like ten days. You want to know like, something? It's like nine, ten days. You want to know something about that date? Eight nine. That is the very first day 
that I ever posted an actual video of talking to a human being on YouTube. I started the channel a year ago on the 31st of July, two days from now. But I, I was learning my software and I was brand spanking new to this. I had no clue how to do anything. So I put together some cheesy slideshow of some homeless people, you know, sure. you know, created my page and did yeah, all. Yeah, familiar with everything. Yeah, just trying to learn. I'm still learning. But uh, here it is a year later and my first video came out on the 9th. I met a manager at Walmart uh, right here in town. Not, not your Walmart, the yeah. other Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Walmart. Your Walmart. I'm not allowed to go to that Walmart either. <laughs> no, okay. yeah, I guess you can't really go to either. But uh, I don't like Walmarts anyway. I don't like what they stand for. Right. They well, food the way they, they it's uh, the whole. Stuff. Yeah, it's that's a whole another story yeah. by itself. Tell you what, why don't you come over to the car, man? I'll set you up with a fat lunch. Okay. And uh, I got some ham and cheese. You know, a couple of treats in there. Kool-Aid pack, Slim Jim. Awesome. Yeah, for a second when I seen your car, I thought you were Jim. Oh, it's right here. Yeah. For a second yeah, we can cut across. Car, I thought you were Jim. The Jim, he has a similar car to that, and he he parks either right here or he parks right here. And I'm like, oh no, it's there. Well, the easiest thing to maybe do would be to look to see the dash cam. Dash cam. Yeah, because I do a, like a sometimes I'll do a little story like, all right, hey guys, I'm on my way over to see this or that, you know. I'm like blind for the most part, kind of so. You're blind. Not really, but yeah, it takes it takes it takes it takes a long time for my eyes to like. So you didn't see what fireworks you were getting? <laughs> it was it was dark. <laughs> I was just grabbing I, shit. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> I was just grabbing shit. Whatever was close. Here you go, buddy. Yeah, man. Hey, t tell you what. Once again, we got the fortune cookie. Okay. Let's see what the let's see if the new one says. I still have the other ones in my bag too. Yeah. You cut the cookie that long? Or the fortune? Happier days are definitely ahead of you. Well. All right then. So. Can't beat that with a stick. Nope. Here you are, young man. There's a pop tart in there. Uh, got the Lord's Prayer. Uh, a, a woman sent me these, and you wanted me to include those in the lunches. It's just the Lord's Prayer that most people, a lot of people know. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you pocket size. Keep your wallet pocket. Yeah. Trusting that you will make all things right if I surrender to you your will so that I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with you forever in the next. Amen. You were reading that through the bag and uh you said you couldn't see. My eyes, Come on, my man. eyes finally adjusted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got you, I got it's you. Like, it's weird. I can't explain this. I like, got you. you need another water, man? Oh yeah, I'll get this. One. I'll set you up. How about a Dr. Pepper? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I'll take that too. Now it's not it's not super super cold. All my ice melted right away. Okay. That was okay. But uh alright, so it'd be okay with you then. Basically I have your permission to give Steven your phone yeah, number. You can give him you can give my phone number, my Gmail. Okay. Um, everything. Yeah. But he just reached out to me, so I'm offering, you know, I'm the middleman, you right. know. So I had to come by and the see. Main him. Man. Well the main man. The main I'm trying, man. It's all about trying to help people out and, you know, you never know. Right. You, you never know. Good to see you, brother. I appreciate all you All right, so All right. So I'll be in contact either way. Okay. Because I'm going to ask him if it'd be okay if I gave you his number. Okay. And yeah, I'm sure can, he'd be comfortable with that. Can, if you can give him a call, a text, like, as soon as possible. Yeah, I'm going to talk to him tonight. That'd be, yeah. that'd be greatly appreciated. That'd yeah, be greatly appreciated. without a doubt. Yeah, his name's Steven. You know, I got all the information, you know. Straight up guy, you know he's a straight shooter to me, you know so far. I don't know him from a blade of grass, right. personally, you know. But we talked for a long time, you know, and yeah, he, uh, he's motivated, you know. Cool. And uh, I don't know if it's a, being a fellow Texan thing or he just enjoyed your story. You know, I get a lot of a lot of people reach out from seeing the videos of other people's stuff that they'd like to help, and, right. you know. Like the Bible, for example, that I gave you. Mm -hmm. You know, Susan sent that. She's like, "Oh man, you need some Bibles." I appreciate you too, Susan. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, she's awesome. I said thank you. Okay, 
then I'll be in touch soon and I'll let Steven know what's going on and to see if we can't make a connection, you know, okay. with you guys and see what he can do to help you out, if anything. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. I'll be waiting on it. I'll, I'll, I'll be waiting on it, man. Like I said, as as <laughs> I'll be waiting on it. Since I got this phone, like, I'll hit you up. Instantly. The whole world opened up. Yeah. You know, yeah. It basically, you know, it does. Internet, you, you can do tons, you know, just having Wi Fi. There goes Jim. Fancy that. There goes Jim. Have you met Jim? Same car. I don't believe so. You gotta meet Jim. He's cool. Now, what does he do? He um he works at Greater Works. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. And, I've uh, probably seen him. He, he's the one that he's the one that took me to go get my own ID. And okay. All that, and he, he helps me out, drives me around, all right. places and stuff. But you also need to get your social security card. Yeah, I need my social and my birth certificate, and then um. Because all you need to get your, at this point, I brought somebody a month ago or so, six weeks maybe friend Charlie mm -hmm. she got her Social Security card just with her ID okay. she didn't need a birth certificate but she did have it on hand but they said she didn't necessarily need it mm. you know so he's bringing you some donuts or some snacks too going on, you know, we were just I was just talking about you uh -oh. you gotta come over here and meet, you gotta come over here and meet Daryl you gotta come over here and meet Daryl he said you're a nice guy so, how you doing, Jim? I'm Daryl. Nice, nice to meet you, Daryl. Let me give you one of my cards. Just for the... Looks like you got a great sandwich going on there. Oh, yeah. You going to finish that? Well, you can have <laughs> no, it. No, I'm only... Give it to him. Okay. Are you hungry? No, no. I'm sorry. I got okay. cool. You're going to deny that? Yeah, Dude, sorry. look at that. That's a badass sandwich. <laughs> I got it. It's all, it's all his. It's yeah. all his. Yeah. Well, it's nice to meet you, Daniel. Okay. Daryl. Daryl, well, yeah. what, no. why do you wear the GoPro? Account? It's for my YouTube channel. Oh, okay. It's on the card. Okay, yeah, good. I'm just telling people out. Um, Contact Malik here because he's got a friend of his, well, an acquaintance, I guess you could say, that wants to help him out, that lives in his home state. And he, he's seen this problem of the video we made three weeks ago or so, and uh, he wants to help him out. So I'm going to try to put these two in contact with one another and see if we can. This I know what Greater Works was about. He, he, sent, yeah. me, he sent me towards y'all's way. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Are you, are you uh, has, had you looked, talking to Casey or anything? I've been calling Casey yeah. every day, and okay. I haven't heard anything yet. Okay. Um, they said that he might not even come in today. Yeah. So. Well, you know, he works in the state legislature. He's a senator. Did you know oh, that? Okay. No, So he works in Atlanta, too. So He's, he's a senator now? Casey, that's for the state. Yeah, we were just talking. He's not, yeah. He doesn't go to Washington. He goes to Atlanta. He's a state for, like, Whitfield County. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know cities had their own senators. Not cities, but I think counties do. Huh. Or, or districts, they have their own. Uh, wouldn't that be? Uh, like wouldn't that. that be a district representative? Yeah, but we have the. You got, you got two houses in the state. Okay. Legislature. You're beyond me already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah there's, you know. There's a house so, of representatives also. Just, yeah. Just like in Washington, and he's the senator from this area. Casey, oh. Casey Carpenter is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Does he still have the restaurant? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, he's got Cherokee okay. Brewing and uh, Oakwood. I think those that he has the also the hotel across the street that's his too the carpentry get Girl? the name yeah oh wow yeah so he's got a lot of stuff that's a nice hotel yeah yeah it's nice to meet you Daryl. see you later hey Jim. nice to meet you jim well that might be a link for you to have a place to stay for a bit maybe you could do some maintenance or something for him for a room you never know never know you never know man. yeah don't stop calling him especially when you have the opportunity to do i call like at least seven eight nine times a day really <laughs> you got to go up to the restaurant. Well, he, like he said, he's probably in Atlanta, and oh man, I can't imagine. Yeah, they said he wasn't gonna be in today, probably. But I'm not yeah, sure. I think they just said that, so I'm gonna stop calling. Yeah, probably out of town. Gotta start calling from different numbers, telling him you're an investigator. Need more phones for that. <laughs> yeah, that would help. Some burners. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right, good to see you, man. I see you later. All right, later. I'm gonna contact him tonight, and I'll be in touch with you. So either way. I mean, you can contact them, like, can you contact them, like, I mean, on your time, of course, but, like, can you contact them, like, within, like, the next hour or so? I'll try. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm really trying, I'm really trying to get in contact with them. Okay. All you. right. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, yeah, I'll, I can contact him before I even, I can, I can do it right now. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, let me try here. I'm still going to be calling Casey, too, all day, because, you know, whatever I get first. Like I said, like, I was, um... These last few days I've been thinking like you know what let me just stay out here and you know try and get my feet you know possibly like I can like get something or something like that 
I don't know. I'm scrolling through here. Just give me a second. The sun is playing havoc with my eyes. Yeah. My limited vision as it is. All right, we're getting close. I got 500 and something contacts in here. I I'm sure, imagine most of them. Okay, there he is. Okay, I think this was his cell number because the business number said something else. Okay. I'll put him on speaker. You can talk to him right now. Doesn't seem like it's on speaker. Steven. Daryl. Hey, how you doing? This is Daryl. Great. Hey, I got somebody here that wants to talk to you. I was going to call you this evening because I didn't want to interrupt your, your day. I know I know you're a busy man. Um, but would you like to spend a few minutes talking with Malik? All right, here. Here's the phone. Yep, Steven. Hello. Yes. That's where I'm I'm originally from. Well, I'm originally from the state of California, but I was raised in Texas. But I do have my like like my mom and my dad, they live out there. My brother and my sister they live in Texas as well. Um, I spoke to my sister um, when I got out of jail and she told me that she was headed back towards the Atlanta area because it's just hard for her and she needs like the support and everything like that. So she's coming back out here. But yeah. Um, really a little bit of everywhere. Um, it was unstable for me um, coming up as a kid, so we always moved from like city to city. So I live, I live in a lot of places: Garland, Texas; Dallas, Texas; um, Commerce, Texas. Um, and you know, I lived in Singleville for a little bit. Moved to Florida. Lived in two different cities in Florida. Um, lived in three, four different cities in the state of Georgia as a kid. Moved around a whole lot. My mother, she lives in Plano, which is the suburbs of Dallas. And then my father, he lives in the suburbs of Plano, which is Frisco. <laughs> just outside for work. Okay, okay. Okay. Not far. Okay, yeah, I know exactly what it is. Ask him if you can exchange phone numbers. Okay. Do you mind? Um, can I exchange contact information with you so I can? I can't. I gotta take you out to lunch, so. Oh. All right, I'm done oh, with that. Take me okay, well, we well, both gotta take each other out. He said you gotta take me out. <laughs> hold, 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 hold. I'm gonna put you on speakerphone. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. You say it again. All right, Steve. What do we got going on here? No, I was just saying, you gotta take him out for lunch since he got that's an appearance fee. I just gave him a big fat lunch. What's that? The, well, the lunch I, uh, well, give out a lot of people. Uh, ham and cheese sandwich. Oh, you're, you gave him one of your sack lunches? Yeah, yeah. I mean, just oh, okay. 20 minutes ago, a half okay. hour. Uh -huh. Okay, But uh, right. Did you give him a dock of pepper? Yes, I did. Okay, all right. So and a water. The lungs, the lungs look up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I just making sure, you know. I mean, is this your is this your cell number that I called? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, um, I'll get off camera here. If you can share your number with Malik, I'll leave it on speaker on my trunk. We're sitting outside the uh, the. He's visiting a buddy over here at the hotel, so he can stay out of the rain. So. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So um, I was just gonna. I, just give him my contact info. He's just going to get his top. He's going to get it from me. So the, the 682 number, if you just want to give it to him, pass along, that would be, save us a step. Sure. Okay. okay. I can do that. Cool. Okay. And uh, hey, I got your email. I'll email you his email. Okay. Cool. All and, right. And I'll that, be giving you a call shortly in like in the next five minutes. Yeah, no worries. Okay. Awesome. So, hey, Daryl, so when, uh, when you got another episode coming out? I haven't Oh, I know. I was out power this this weekend. We had we. It's been raining every day for like the last five six days. Yeah, it really does. And we've been having uh, electrical problems in my neck of the woods, only in a like a three four block area. 
Uh-huh. It's been a mess. There's uh, electrical trucks everywhere. Some old trees got soaked in the roots and fell over and broke some lines. Power. Yeah, some, oh, okay. some poles caught on fire and I was worried about food spoiling so I went and got, you know, 10 bags of ice and, you know, uh, I can go a mile down the street and there's plenty of power everywhere, you know. Did people wind up going crazy as far as like... Oh, it's it's a, it's like madness. That. Yeah. The, the milk and, you know, the milk and bread's gone. I guess we're going to make some French toast. Right. It's like, I'll take five gallons. You're like, okay, there's one person in your family. Yeah, but I need five gallons, you know. It's, right. But you don't have power. Well, yeah, but I got to get my milk. You know, like, okay. Yeah, no AC. Well, you know the drill. Nothing. <laughs> oh my! And it's probably has it been like in the hundreds out there, low high nineties. The heat index has has been, but since it's been raining so much, it's been keeping it down a little bit. We've been in the upper seventies, low eighties, but the humidity is four thousand percent. Yeah. Oh god. About a week ago, it was like the nineties. Yeah, it was brutal. Oh man, that's miserable. All right, all right, Stephen. I'm gonna set them up with your phone number then, and. uh you guys can handle it from there, and if I need to intervene, you can obviously contact me, and we can go from there, friend. Definitely. Will. No worries, man. All right. Hey, it's great talking with you, Malik, and uh, good talking with you, Daryl. We'll chat at you later. No problem, sir. You too. I'll be giving right, you a call in a minute. Have a good one. All right, you bet. Bye -bye. All right, see ya. Awesome, awesome. All right, let me Doesn't get that. any more straight up than that. Well, here's his number then. I'll, I'll show it to you, and then you can write it down. All right. That way, I don't have to say it. All right. Can you see that? Now that's a cell. Six, eight, two. Yeah, keep that to yourself. <laughs> I'm gonna go in silent mode. I forgot. No, that's all right. I do the same thing. I, I say it that way. I remember it easier. Well, fantastic. Step one complete. Well, step one and two. You yeah. know, part one was me getting a hold of you, and then. Right. But uh, yeah. Yeah, this is Stephen, correct? Yep. Yeah. Stephen W. We'll put it that way. My man, you got oh, it twisted. Twist. Yeah, it's oh, you a, got the cool one. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. If somebody gave it to me. It's from uh, National Bank somewhere. There we go. All right, my man. I appreciate you, sir. Thank yeah. you so much, there. Maybe some better roads are on the horizon for you, young man. Yeah, hopefully so. That's I'm, what I'm, the fortune cookie I'm, said. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Nothing at all. I've been waiting on this for... All right. Freaking forever, man. Well, maybe you guys can uh, get in contact and I can act as a middleman if need be. You know? oh, yeah, most definitely so. Yeah. And I'm going to definitely give him a call. I'm going to go throw this water bottle in the trash and then <laughs> go on the stairs and get in the shade. Start, yeah, start harassing him. It's Yeah, it's hard harassing him. All right, good to see you, man. I appreciate it. All right, I'll follow, I'll follow up with you in a couple days. I'm going to email him your email address okay yeah because you emailed me i got it right on my computer so okay. i save it all so okay, awesome. all right i'm gonna go ahead and send uh, them on anyways just because yeah yeah why not yeah. you know that way yeah yeah won't hurt you, you're welcome sir man that just felt like the right thing to do this man reached out to me we were talking for so long my phone got hot in my ear and uh the battery <laughs> just died but we're sitting outside uh oh hey no problem buddy man, i appreciate that bro. yeah Somebody absolutely got a little yeah. spider right there let me get them off for you yeah I, they're always here i live kind of in the woods and i got leopards and cheetahs and everything else on my car uh, i gotta get my dog out you know snare. yeah it's he's not he doesn't like the leopards the cheetahs he's cool with so all right i'll see ya what a nice guy man well i hope something works out you know i guess something's better than nothing maybe he can give him some you know housing of some type i don't know you know maybe i don't know i I guess the door is wide open, you know. So, with that being said, guys, we're going to sign off so I can get this video to you this evening. I'm leaking. <laughs> it's moist out here. Shower time for sure. All right, guys, just real quick. I'm going to roll my window up, get some wind noise. All right, here's the deal. 
Uh, I just met with Malik. Uh, you may or may not remember him from uh, a video we did about three weeks ago or so at the Dollar General. He was, uh, he had just got out of jail. He's from out of town trying to help his, his, his child's mother, uh, ex-girlfriend at this point. But with that being said, um, if you haven't seen part one of this video, I'm going to include it at the end of this video. So it'll be right at the end, the last 10 seconds or so. You'll be able to click on it so you can get caught up. But, uh, yeah, not a big deal. Hey, man, thanks for watching. Subscribe, hit that button. Need your help. All right. Going to be back. Sure. Again. All right. No problem. All right, guys. I'm going to be back in a few. We'll see what's happening next.